Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review. Today I'm going to be talking about Peak Smith 3 by Andrash Bartazi. Before we do that, can you please like and subscribe if you like this and you want to subscribe to it? If you want to share it, that's great. Even with your mouth, share it with people. Say, that was good. Have you seen Steve's review show? It's good, it is. It's called Real Magic Review. Have a look at it. Say that to people in exactly those words because you'll sell it to them, just like I just did uh, with you. Right. And, uh, and do check out onlinemagic.co. It's wonderful. It's great. But I would say that because I made it all by myself. Uh, many years ago, and I'm still making it because I add to it all the time. It's brilliant. Everything I know, I've learned over the next nearly 30 years, I'm giving it all to you for $9.99 a month, and other people are as well because we get guest people on the live sessions. Uh, I'm going to read you a trust pilot review now of this because you're better off listening to other people than me. Not in all cases. You listen to me for this video, I would, because I'm the best one to talk about this. <laughs> Uh, this is a brilliant course and has something for the beginner to the established magician. Established magician. The videos are of a very high quality and all the angles covered. The live sessions are great. We have a good laugh and learn a lot. Steve will go out of his way to help someone with anything. His magic knowledge is considerable and his teaching skills are second to none. If you like your magic, then join this course. It's a no-brainer and we'll have every penny and more. Thanks, Stuart. That's on the Trustpilot Reviews. Have a look at that. OnlineMagic.co. Right, now, this is going to be quite... A, I've, a hard review so what I will probably do is add to this and then more importantly even more importantly sorry do check out the live sessions I do on not the live sessions of the online magic.co but on YouTube at five o'clock nearly every Thursday unless I can't make it um, UK time and and I'll kind of back any questions you've got put it in the comments and I'll back this up this video up with it because this does a lot and there is going to be a lot that I forget about and this is a so what what it is is a palmable peaking device so straight away it goes with a lot of things now this i came across this first of all because i was reviewing benka smith stuff dice smith time smith uh, q smith which i love and use all the time i was using my phone to get the information i needed which in some situations is fine and with things like wiki test uh, and more uh, and then I realized you could get it on this small device, the information on the small device. So it's a, it's a little screen that gives you all you need to know. So I had a PeakSmith 2 and just went, this is brilliant. This is great. And I just think it's small and you can put it anywhere and you can just really clear and nobody suspects anything. And the way I used that most was with DiceSmith, but also with CubeSmith. So I would solve the cube using the information that I was getting to allow me to do this. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, do check out the reviews of, of Cube Smith by Benka Smith, uh, or give it a Google or put a comment below and, and I'll give you links to that. But we're talking just about the Peak Smith here. But what I'd do is I'd leave, get the cube out of the bag and just leave it in the bag on a table right there and I'd be talking to people and just staring at it and no one would see it. It's like a little cave with the Peak Smith 2 in there. So then Peak Smith 3 came out and I was thinking, all oh, right, what, what more can this have? And it does have a lot more. And again, I'm going to forget half of them for this review because I don't want to read it. So, so I'll back it up. And I'll probably even do more videos because I want to talk about the apps that work with this as well. So the main thing about this is, whereas before with PeakSmith 2 and a lot of Bluetooth devices, and this works on Bluetooth um, and also has a, has a web polling thing, which I'll talk about. I'm probably getting grossly wrong, but, you know, when I talk about the science of it and the tech of it, but I'll tell you what it does. But it also, so you need the app open on your phone. You would need, now PeakSmith comes with its own app and with that you can have someone writing something in it and you get the information on the screen which you've got hidden. So they might have your phone or another Bluetooth device um, with the app on it, uh, which is great. But, you, or you can have it with the, again, I've, I'll talk about what I've used it with and it works with a lot of things, but I've used it with DiceSmith, with TimeSmith and with CubeSmith. And, and you need those apps open for it to give you the information uh, it gives you. And with Dice Smith, somebody rolls the dice and you can tell them exactly what colours rolled what number, uh, not looking at them at all, and, and that's kind of how, how it works. And again, the, the Cube Smith will talk to you about how to solve a cube and get it into a specific state, depending on the routines you're doing. And the, the Peak Smith would link with that. What it does now, uh, it still does that, and that's still what I use it for a lot, but what it does now is it connects, di starting to connect directly with things. So at the 
At the moment, it uh, direct, connects directly with Spotted Dice and with, I think, with Hugo Shelley's Sixth Sense, which are uh, not Sixth Sense, uh, the other one. Uh, oh, I'll think about it in a minute. Let me, let me look. Right, so a couple of things while I'm looking at that that I forgot to mention. One of them, it does have a magnet sensor, isn't it? A magnet detector. So for all those routines, and you know what I mean, if you do them where you do use magnets, which hand things like that, uh, it will detect them as well, and I believe thump then. It also have, has cool things like um, you can mirror the writing, so there's a setting where the writing on the Pixelmith will be mirrored, so you can read it in a mirror if you want to use that. Uh, and there are various ways you can do that if you want the Pixelmith out of the way and something on the table which mirrors the image, uh, etc. It can also, there's, there's loads of accessories for this as well, so you can have it in a, you can buy special card boxes. Um, and I will again be talking about those on different videos when I've used them. I have used them with uh, Peaksmith 2, but not with Peaksmith 3. The NFC tags, yes, it picks up on NS NFC tags. Again, I'm slightly out of my depth here because I haven't used these yet. And I know that Andrash has developed an NFC deck uh, with ESP symbols and things like, things like that and customizable cards, which I will talk about on... Uh, future reviews when we delve into this stuff but I just wanted to give you a sort of overview that it does lots of different things other than the things I mentioned in the main review. Insight. Here goes Shelley's Insight. I think they're the three things if I'm not wrong. Insight uh, which I really want but I haven't got it. Um, kinetic dice and dice smith. So you can have the dice and the piece of you don't need your phone anywhere near it. So in, in the way that kind of I I've used before with mental dice, I can now use with this. And also the way it shows the dice. So it will show, you can choose it to just show the numbers of the dice, but all the graphics will have a, 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 a graphic representation of the dice itself. And it will tell you, you, you know, what dice people are picking up and all that kind of thing. So it's really, strong. and I've tested this a lot. I've sat there for an hour, rolling them in different positions over there, and it's brilliant. The only thing that happened a couple of times is that when my body, when the, the device was there and my body was there and the dice were there and I'd, I'd roll it behind me and I was a good distance away. I did lose connection a couple of times, but you wouldn't really do that in performance anyway. You'd make sure that things were kind of in range because, you know, we are talking about Bluetooth here. So that's a really big thing, not having the phone involved. Again, on stage, it's kind of fine with your phone, but if you're on the fly and you want to do that, it's... And the other great thing, the thing I love is that the... Pixel 3 is also a thumper. So it'll tell you what one of the dice is. And, and don't get me wrong, this is always, this is going to change as well. But at the moment, it's the first dice that's rolled. So a dice that you know. So you do this maybe with, with somebody um, rolling one dice and you wouldn't have to be even be able to see, have to see the Pigsmith. It's got a code. So it isn't like, doesn't thump six times for six because it would take too long. But it will give it, it there's a kind of certain thump it will give you for six and five. And I learned this really quickly and I think it's absolutely brilliant. And because this is palmable, I've got it in my hand and I'm just going, well, you've rolled a five. And it's, again, I did it a lot and didn't have any problems with it. So there's that side of things. So we've got the Bluetooth connection via the app and we've got the direct connection just without the app. And also we've got this web polling. Now, Mark Kirsten, bless him, tried to explain to this idiot <laughs> what web polling was and basically and a lot of you will know this but i'm old uh it, it goes to to the web to the web basically rather than on bluetooth so with something like wiki test it's getting that information you link wiki test to the peaksmith device um and you will get that information sent to your peaksmith but not straight from your phone it goes to the internet from the internet <laughs> back onto the feature and there are loads of apps uh, it uses for that actually I'll, I will tell you and I'll have to read it because I'll never remember them all I'm going to tell you uh, what apps uh, work with Peaksmith 3 okay it works with A-C-A-A-N Akan I don't know why I said it like that by Benka Smith Cal uh, Calculon by Thoughtcast Magic Cypher Pro I'm not going to put buy who it is every time, actually. That's not what. Q Smith, Dice Smith, Ideal, iThump. Brilliant. The brilliant Ian Pigeon. What a, what a person he is. 
by spending time again talking to this idiot about what to do. He's brilliant. Novus, Omnisense, Peaksmith, of course, the free app, Picasso Pro, Pi Revelations, David Penn, Rain Man Pro, Timesmith, Thoughtcast, Vision, and Vision Tricks by Martin Eisel. Uh, it works with all of them. I know some of them aren't apps like um, Pi Revelations, but it's got built in stuff to work with them. Uh, and the other magic apps that have web based, like the web polling, Cognito, Ellipse, Inject 2, uh, I Unlock Elite, Let's Draw Pro, which I will be talking about at some point, Passcode Checker, uh, SCI, Simple Draw, and Wiki Test, of course, as I've mentioned, and the direct connection I was like right, Kinetic Mental Dice, uh, Insight, Spotted Dice. More app support coming soon for Mental Painter, Locksmith, ESP Test Card Detector, and more and more and more. So you get the point. Right, it does. It works with all these things, but the thing is about it is clarity. It's 160 megapixels, I believe, is the um, is a so, yeah 160 by 80 megapixels, and that's important because on Peaksmith One and Two, which are great, you get these kind of blocky graphics. It's just text. With this, uh, it's just clear. And when you look at the way, I know it works with the what I call, <laughs> keep calling it potato board, potato pata pata board. Um, I've seen, you know, that the image actually comes up on the Peaksmith, the animation of the drawing. So it's it's clear as day and it's absolutely beautiful. Of course, there's loads of different settings on this. It does a lot more than this, but I just wanted to bring this um, to your attention and let you know kind of what you're doing and, and what you're getting. It is a real joy. It's got three programmable buttons on it. One of them turns it on and off. One of them just scans, etc. But you, it's, you can program what those buttons do. And the scanning is super quick. It seems really powerful. The Bluetooth connection seems really strong. I've not, like I said, not had any problems with that except for the obvious ones of being too far away. Uh, and I think it's great. Right, I'm going to stop there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the other apps with Peaksmith as I get them and review them and do live shows on them, etc. So I've got Let's Draw Pro to talk about, which apparently is great with it, but I haven't learned it yet. Uh, and it's going to be forever if I just wait to learn all of those things. So there's Peaksmith 3. It's just brilliant. It just fits in your hand lovely. I would have no problem just holding it and chatting to people as I've got my back to them or even in front of them. And I have actually used it with it in my hand. It, it takes a bit of nerve, um, but it, it's just it's right there. It just feels brilliant when you're doing it and you're working miracles and you're just having to look at this, this very, uh, very lovely screen. So I hope I haven't given away too much. Obviously, don't share this with people that won't be magicians. We've got to be very careful with this stuff, so I will say that. Just keep this to yourself. I'm not going to put this all over my normal web pages. Uh, this is just for just for us, I think. And I think it's something like $295 plus shipping and stuff. I think it's a bargain. I think it, you're going to get so much use out of it. And, of course, then you've got the apps on top. But, uh, but let me know what you think. If you're using it, let me know what else you're using it for. There are some features I haven't gone into yet because I haven't delved into them, but I hope that's useful. All right. Take care. See you later. Oh, uh, check out onlinemagic.co and like and subscribe if you like it and you want to subscribe to it. All right? Bye.